Hi everyone, welcome to the demo of generative AI use case for regulatory change management. The feature will get released in May and will be available to all our IRM Pro Plus and IRM Enterprise Plus customer. This is about how you can stay ahead of regulatory change updates. As a part of this demo, we will cover majorly two features that we are releasing for regulatory change management. The first one is about regulatory change summarization or regulatory alert summarization thus providing you a brief summary of alert and second one is regarding the AI assisted recommendations on impacted citations and control objectives for a given regulatory alert. Let's jump into an instance and look at the live demo. Alright, so now I am in an instance and I am in a regulatory change alert record. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, details captured in this record from regulatory change perspective. So for a domain expert to go through all these details, it is uh, time consuming and needs a lot of efforts. And this is just an example. The regulatory change alerts can be really lengthy as well. Now let's see if AI can do this job using the power of now LLM. So let's go into the overview tab and in here, uh, that the first UI, UI action that you see is summarization which is if I click upon generates a summary of regulatory alert highlighting the key details. So once it generates that you can see uh, there's a lot of key details uh, in a summarized view like what are those important uh, dates to consider who issued the regulatory alert the applicable jurisdiction and more such details on regulatory authority a summary on key changes and if there is any penalties or fines applicable in case of non-compliance so with this info in hand what the domain expert can do is he or she can capture this info as a part of additional comment so if i click on this button here share to the additional comment this will open in an editable mode so that uh, the domain expert can make the required change uh, whatever they want to and once done they can actually save it to the additional comments and once it is saved uh, it is ready for the further consumption in subsequent workflow stages so that was first release highlight that i wanted to to demo where you can summarize any regulatory change alert now the second release highlight is on the recommendation so once you have generated the summary on alerts and now when you understand the alert the next step is to find out the impacts on the citations and control objectives because of this regulatory change up till now uh, this process was manual where someone has to find out uh, from the language of the regulatory alert what are the impact and map those citations and control objectives manually which was a really time consuming uh, process. Now using the power of now LLM, that can also be automated. So the second UI action here, once you click, will take you uh, to a tab, which is recommendations. And as you can see here, uh, the recommendations are further breakdown. Uh, so you have recommended citations as well as recommended control objectives and how does the system recommends it looks into some of the key details of the alert like description of the alert and looks for the similarity in your inventory of citations and control objectives so now from here what you can do is you can go into individual citations and look for the further details like description and if there is any child citations or associated control objectives to that particular citation similar goes with the control objective you can click on any of the control objective you can look at the details further to that particular control objective as in what is the description of the control objective if there is any child control objective policies tagged to that particular control objective controls and if there is any risk statement uh, that that is tagged to that particular control objective thus giving you a complete visibility into your entire IRM program. So now after reviewing the detailed domain expert can either uh, accept or dismiss the recommendation. For this example let's accept this particular control objective along with the policy that is recommended for change and I'll select that and I will accept it here. So it will show me that you are accepting the following recommendation as impacted area the control objective and the policy once i confirm that the recommended records that you accepted will be mapped under the impacted areas 
tab so as you can see there's a control objective and then there is a policy which got tagged because of the action taken in the previous step and then from here it is existing workflow which takes care of change management generating the action task which i'm not going to demo in here since that is the existing feature so that is all i had uh, as a part of this demo on ai assisted regulatory change management for more details please reach out to your account executive or outbound product management team members. Thank you.